Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Hopefully everyone is having a great day as always. In today's video, we are going to hone in on this coin right here. It is the 1966 Washington Quarter. Now these coins can be worth more than face value if they're highly graded coins or if they are an error coin. If you've got a coin like this, it's only going to be worth face value. So just wanted to make sure that was clear at the very start of the video. Unfortunately, the metal content ever since 1964 is just this copper nickel clad combination. 1964, we can see the difference in uh, coloring between these two coins right here. 1964 is going to be the last year that they had silver in the quarters. Uh, in fact, these were 90% silver, 10% copper. Then we switch over to 1965 and after. They are going to be 91.67% copper, 8.33% nickel. So your 1966 quarter, unfortunately, does not have any silver in it. Another interesting part about 1966, as 1965, 66, and 67, the United States Mint did not make any proof sets. They just made these United States Special Mint sets in which featured a Kennedy half dollar, Washington quarter, uh, Je excuse me, Roosevelt dime, Jefferson nickel, and Lincoln penny. As you can see, they have a little bit of a glossy finish to them, but not quite as nice as your regular proof coins. I'll move that aside. Uh, so if you're looking for a proof set for 1966, you are not going to find them. You also aren't going to find any coins that are going to have any mint marks on them because 1966, uh, no mint marks on any of the quarters or any of the coins that were made by the United States Mint. All right, I've got the uh, 64 over here on the left, so we can see kind of the the silver coin, and then we got the 66 on the right. Let's talk about the mintages of the 1966 Washington Quarter. So that's how many were made. There were 821 million of these 1966 Washington Quarters that were made. Interestingly, that's about a billion less than the year before. The year before in 1965, the first year they took the silver out of the quarter, they made 1 billion 819 million. Uh, so they dropped off about a billion from 1965 until 1966. And part of the reason why they had to have such high mintages, uh, 1965 was also the reason why they stopped making those proof sets and removed the mint mark from the coin. That's because they were trying to uh, get these back into circulation. People were hoarding them, so there wasn't enough coins to go around. All right, we've got our 1966 Washington Quarter. Now let's talk about how to grade this coin because that will really determine the value of the coin if you can get yours at a highly graded uh, version. We'll start with uh, F12. So the, keep in mind the coin grading scale goes all the way up to 70. So F stands for fine. On that hairlines about Washington's above, hairlines above Washington's uh, ears are visible. So we can see that mine right here, we can't see any details in the hairlines right here. So unfortunately, it wouldn't even get that uh, fine 12 designation. To get yours up in value, you'll need to get that MS65 grade. So that's a gem on circulated coin. And you'll have to get only light scattered contact marks that are not distracting, strong luster, good eye appeal. So this coin has no luster to it, no real eye appeal but you can only get, um, only have light scattered contact marks uh, for your coin to get that MS65 grade. And we will talk about some highly graded coins and the values associated with them. But first, let me share you some details on the one error coin that's called out for 1966. It is a doubled die reverse. So we flip it over. And the area of focus that you wanna look for is very strong doubling is evident on all reverse lettering, including E Pluribus Unum. So the uh, main area that you look for is E Pluribus Unum. And we can see if it was uh, any doubling in the letter there, lettering. And unfortunately, we don't see that. Uh, this was discovered by Robert Gray. Uh, this has been proven to be a very rare variety. Um, and it's not fat, this is not associated with these special mint sets. At a mint state 66, this variety is worth $2,250. Now, 
Now let's talk about those highly graded 1966 25 cent pieces. So PCGS, which is a coin grading and authentication uh, service, they have on their website a survival estimate. Um, so they estimate how many coins survived at different grades and they have 65 mint state 65 or better they estimate that there are 12 million of them that have still survived so you really need to get that mint state 67 or better designation to it because those ones are scarce pcgs has graded just 59 of them at a mint state 67 and those have a price guide of 275 dollars uh, one actually sold in may of 2020 for 185 dollars so maybe their prices are a little bit off um, as far as what they're recommending prices or uh, compared to what they're actually selling for but you never really know with the prices because these are sold at auction results so you might have some motivated sellers that are just trying to get rid of them uh, at whatever price possible so pcgs has also graded three of them only three of the uh, 821 million that were made at a mint state 68 PCGS has a price guide of those of $15,000. Uh, but again, it looks like um, one sold in January of 2019 for just $11,750. So the PCGS price guide on those might need to be adjusted a little bit lower. All right, everyone, that's the basic details that I've got for you on the 1966 Washington quarter. The key takeaways from the video are this coin right here does not have any silver in it. 1964 will be the last year of silver coins. You're not going to find any 1966s with mint marks because that's because they were trying to uh, um, prevent people from hoarding them. So they thought taking out the mint marks would be nice. There is one double die reverse, uh, and your coin will have to be graded mint state 60, 67 or better for it to be worth a lot of money. Thank you very much, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.